On today's vlog, we do something we have never done in our life. Roll intro. I don't know what's wrong with me. Maybe it's because I sense my 30th birthday looming sometime soon. I've been more worried lately about just my health and being healthy and exercising and used to play basketball and do much sports. I don't really do much of that anymore. But I've literally never, ever, ever gone for a run for fun. And mostly I've just always said to people, I don't get it at all. But the thought this morning of putting in my headphones, going in my own little world, and running around seems like a good idea. I'll probably make it like three minutes before I'm dying and completely out of breath, but let's try it. If you haven't figured this out, that's a bit of a cobbled together running uniform, basketball shoes. I don't know where these pants are from. I think we're playing hockey in the winter time. I do have shorts. These headphones are not sports headphones. These are my musician in-ear monitors, but they should work. Not a running hat, but whatever. I'm gonna go now. I'm gonna leave this here. been a while since I ran that much. I didn't even go that crazy far. I probably went about, I don't know, two or three K. It was enough. Now I want to get something that kind of like tracks my running so I can kind of see my progress. See actually how far I went, calories burned, that kind of stuff. Maybe we'll get a Fitbit or something. Apple watch would be sweet, but I don't spend that much money right now. <sighs> We have this idea in society that how healthy you are is based on how skinny you are, but I can tell you that is not true. After I graduated high school, I just finished working my way into being a manager at McDonald's, just like the lowest level one. But I was eating like 20 to 25 meals a week there because it was free and it was easy. So why not eat there all the time? And I got to the point where I was sleeping like 11 hours a night and eating like a two hour nap in the day because I was just so tired all the time. Now it's not McDonald's specific, it's just that kind of food if that's all you eat you're not going to be very healthy and even now I can tell I'm so skinny because I have fast metabolism but that doesn't mean that I'm healthy like look at like a football giant lineman those guys are massive I can tell you they don't just sit at buffets all day and just you know get as much calories as they can just become really big they're also working out even though they're you know maybe bigger and they're not skinny they're still very very healthy so it's not about that and even sometimes I get away with it because I look in the mirror and go hey I'm fairly skinny so I'm probably doing okay not okay so maybe we'll be running I don't know what it'll be but I need to find some way to exercise and I turn 30 in I don't know six months or so something about that's kind of looming where I just like I want to have good health and there's some things you can do to help yourself have good health. Obviously anything can happen, but I'm going to do my part. Look, a breakfast muffin. I don't know if this is like healthy. It's probably not very healthy. I ran, so it's okay. I've heard it said that you're supposed to feel like you have a ton of energy after you exercise. The problem is when you hurt, you hurt a lot. Oh, I hurt. I heard a lot. I feel good, but I'm sore. Out of clients, it's kind of a dreary day out there, man. Rainy. I don't even know how to like really entertain you guys. We'll find a way. We always do, right? This is the second time that I've seen the sticker in the last two days. Pretty sure that I'm gonna buy an orange Sharpie and start crossing out bikes on all these with boosted boards. I think that'd be a good idea, hey? That'd be cool. Anyway, it's lunchtime. Going to the mall to find something to eat in between meetings. I have 20 minutes. I want to go back to that run though a little bit this morning. See, I have this time in my day from the time I get up, which is typically around like 6.30 or 7, but four days a week I have to take Odin somewhere for 9 a.m. And it feels like such like wasted time in between there where I want to do something productive, but for me, I can't just like start working for like half an hour, 45 minutes. I kind of got to get in the zone. When I'm in the zone, I'm good. So there's been lots of mornings where it's like, it's just like, well, maybe I'll try and go back to sleep or 
I'll just be on my phone or I won't like generally be that productive and so I think finding a quick way to exercise even if it's like 15 or 20 minutes would be such a good option for early in the morning so we're gonna see if I can get a run in but now I'm all like jacked up about finding something that will track my runs and my calories and my distance and that's what they call gamifying the system but it's for the good better good Guaranteed, some mall cop's gonna give me trouble for my camera. I'll try and keep a low profile. I'm okay, thank you. Okay, so there's lots of these skin product places where they always give you these like samples of like Dead Sea salt special treatments. And they make your hands feel so soft, they're like, I need this thing. But honestly, it's just because they scrub your hands. I've found to get your hands really, really, really soft Go buy some Gojo. It's like mechanics hand cleaner. It has little puma stones. What's going on? <laughs> you caught me mid vlog. Now you're gonna have to be on the vlog. Okay. Tell people your name. I'm Thomas. Thomas? Longtime friend of Justin. All right. And uh, what do you do for work, Thomas? <laughs> When I don't know what to do for lunch, I typically always end up right here. Why I love this place so much is because it's actually really hard to find anywhere where you can get lunch for under five bucks. But you can get one of these sweet cheesy roll things. And the soup for under five bucks. And the soup here is actually like really quite solid. Oh, it looks hot. Oh, hot. Hot, but good. Really good. I've eaten a lot of cheese buns here. This one does not taste right. Oh, I need something to get that taste out of my mouth. How about some? <laughs> Sweet, I'm here. Yeah. I'm here. I've come for a coffee. What size? Uh, just a tall one. Would Thank you, you very seat? much. I'm okay. Thank you. Yeah. Now he said he recognized me because of my beard, and I've been tempted to shave it off because it's pretty hot for the summer, but apparently there's perks. Perks of having a beard. Guys, you want to see a new truck I bought? waiting here to get my brakes done. Bend it on the floor, but they do lots of accessories for all sorts of things. Check out all these rims. These ones don't look so good. Oh, cars. So I brought my vehicle in because it was squealing and really, really annoying. Turned out that it needed a bunch of brake work. $800 later, it's still squealing because it's a stupid e-brake. At least I have safe brakes now, so, you know, that's good, but. Some of the stuff with driving an older car. Still though, even spending a couple thousand dollars a year on maintenance, still had a car payment. And I really like this car, so it's okay. Anywho, yesterday's vlog was pretty awesome. It's actually, I just see so many people watching and sharing it, which thank you very much. It was actually a tremendous amount of work. Even editing it, that was the longest vlog I'd have had in a long time, but it was like a 12 or 13 minute vlog and lots of stuff happened, so it's good. Today's vlog might be a little bit shorter because I actually kind of want to go out tonight, uh, hang out with my brother and some other friends. So yeah, I might just end it right here. That is what a rotor is supposed to look like, not that rusty shot from before.